good morning so i am getting ready to head out to an event um l'oreal pa l'oreal paris is hosting a science skincare innovation event and i'm so excited because i've been invited to attend and of course there's gonna be a lot of really incredible industry people in the room um including like dermatologists from l'oreal but the most exciting aspect of this whole thing for me as well is the fact that South Korean model, musician, um, also the spokesperson for L'Oreal Paris is going to be there and that is Suju Park. I'm so excited to just be witness to this event and just be present and then also I'm, I'm excited for all of the skincare stuff I'm going to learn. So I am about to start to put on my makeup, do my edges. I don't usually do my edges, but for some reason this morning I want to. I am also very tired. So for some reason, I decided at 8.30 p.m. last night to do braids. <laughs> so I started doing my hair last night at 8.30 p.m. Um, so I'm exhausted because I went to bed very late and I woke up super early for no reason. But I'm excited. I'm also going to be able to interview Suju Park for a really exciting piece that's going to be coming out um later on so it's an exciting day so let's just you know enjoy it um enjoy the moment and uh get ready so first things first i am going to start by doing my edges oh shoot <laughs> i have my claw clip on in the back and i think my scarf is attached to it but so let me see if i can Pull you closer. I hope you can see. So typically what I do is I just kind of twist my edges a little bit before I go to bed. Um, if I know that I'm going to be swooping them. Um, I just feel like it's better to twist it. I don't know why, but whatever. For my 4C hair, it's just better. Um, I'm not gonna, so the edge control that I use I'm gonna be honest, as a 4C girly, I have I don't have I don't have an edge control that has ever worked for me. It's either it goes white or um the edges just revert. So for me, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do my edges, but for me it's also kind of like I know that probably in about 20 minutes it's going to revert. And I have done the whole trick. I have done it with the blow dryer, I have done it with got to be glue. I have done everything. <laughs> it doesn't work. So I don't know. I'm just kind of doing this, just whatever. That's but partly why I don't do my edges is because number one, I feel like I I feel like we're kind of indoctrinated as black women to have slick back hair. Like if our natural hair is showing, an element of it always has to be like slicked for it to look, for us to look presentable to the public. And I don't really like the idea of that. Um, so for me, a lot of times I will just leave my edges naturally as they are. Um, and yeah, and then the other reason is just the fact that it will just revert because again, that's how God made our hair. Our hair, you know, you know, some of us, our hair don't really need to be doing all day. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do the other side now. And then I'm gonna tie it down. I don't have any wax strips anymore. So I'm just gonna use my scarf and band. There's an actual terminology for it, but I can't remember the name. But it's the band that makes you lose consciousness. <laughs> That's what I call it sometimes. Because for real, like I am scared. Like sometimes I will be watching um, someone's get ready with me and they'll say oh let me take off this band that i was sleeping in and i was like girl what you're not supposed to sleep in that damn band <laughs> it is never that serious if you sleep in that damn band not only can you get like my concern for every hair so i do is traction alopecia so not only can you possibly get that but just like your blood circulation is for me anyways i don't know it's like essentially it is cut off when you wear that band around your head. So I'm pretty hyper aware of that. And yeah, traction alopecia is like a serious, serious concern for me. 
I try my best to not make my styles too close to my edges, which you can probably tell looking at my hair. Um, I'm trying to grow back my edges to a healthier state as well. Um, it's like one element of it. So this is the band I was talking about. Look how tight that is. And some people sleep in that. Please don't do that. <laughs> you are cutting off your blood circulation. Like it's okay if you want to do it for the 10 minutes you need it to be done. But wrap it up after that. Um, okay, I'm going to wash my hands and wash my edge brush. And I'm going to start makeup. Okay, so that's the makeup done. You can really see it. It's nothing crazy. And then I'm just going to put on some lips after I'm done having my breakfast. So, it's all look bad. They don't look bad at all. I'm actually a little bit behind for time because I now have to do the next step. Which is, um... I just don't look bad. The next step, styling my hair. I'm getting mentally ready for the pain I'm about to put myself through because I have to use bobby pins and bobby pins give me the worst headache. The worst headache of my life. I hate them. <laughs> but here we go. Okay, so I tried to do like a boho effect. I don't know that I love it. Let's run it and see. So then I saw this idea on Pinterest. Rihanna had it, but many people have done it as well. So I'm just gonna attempt to do it. Okay, fun fact, if you have a bobby pin that's like this, you just do this. And it falls right back. Isn't that cool? Here's the hair. I'm leaning into the fact that you can see the bobby pins. Because <laughs> I think it's just whatever. <laughs> I wonder if I should... No, that's too much. I think this is fine as it is, honestly. Um, I'm regretting I did the boohoo. Whatever, it's fine. It's just in the front. Yeah. That's the look. I wanted to share the full fit. So I'm about to get my skin scan. This is Dr. Julia. Okay, cool. Okay. All right. So we're gonna get you to pop your head. Okay. I'm gonna turn the LED light on, and then you can open up. Okay. And so Whoa. low, right? Whoa. So you can see the little white flecks. That's just lint. Everyone has that on their face.
with me today, I'm delighted to share the stage with our skincare experts who are here to help us better understand all the science behind L'Oreal Paris' innovations. So I'll open the floor to our incredible panel. Thank you very much for being with us today. It's really a pleasure, really a, a, an honor to, to welcome you. So I won't be long, but I just wanted to take this opportunity to reshare a bit with you about L'Oreal Paris, about our mission, about our sense of purpose. I think you've understood it a little bit, it's basically science. We want to be science democratizers. So that's definitely uh, our mission. The slides are lagging a little bit, but it's, uh, it's fine. And for us, really, when we say this, is really that we really want to provide science of useful skin at every range. This is our mission, and to do so, there's one absolute keyword, and it's trust. We want and we need to build trust with our consumers. And how do we build this trust? This trust starts with powerful ingredients. That's where everything starts. We need to have those powerful ingredients at the highest concentration in all our formulas. Also, to build trust, we need clinically proven efficacy. All our formulas are tested in our labs several times, again and again, to make sure we deliver the best benefits. Trust. And thank you very much again for being here with us again. Trust with our dermatologist. We want to raise the bar in terms of, once again, trust. And, and the best way to do it is to work closely with dermatologists to really elevate what we're doing. And finally, trust is you, obviously. I would say you, our dear media partners, also some content creators and our consumers. can cause the melanocytes, those are the cells that make pigment, <clears throat> to um, overproduce their pigment. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, then what ends up happening is that you could get the pigment in the surface of the skin, but you can also get it deeper in the skin. And I think that's actually some of what Dr. Carroll was chatting about is where that pigment sits is, speaks to how stubborn it may be to treat. And so you might find also there's some, um, like a bit of a cyclicality to it, right? I have a lot of people that said to me, well, in the summer, I notice these spots more. And in the winter, they don't show up as much. Um, that it's because you, that pigment may be there, um, but obviously it gets kind of, uh, those melanocytes get a bit more stimulated and activated with sun exposure. And that's why you start seeing um, more of that in the uh, summertime. The, the other piece that we just talked about earlier that I think is important to mention is, even if you don't see those spots now, it's the idea that you don't just have to use a product to treat uh, the inflammation and treat the, um, the that pigment. You can also prevent it. And if any of you do, you know, like Dr. Carol and I, we do a lot of also cosmetics in our practice in terms of lasers and all that kind of thing. And I say to all my patients, if you're going to invest in any of that technology as well, you have to protect your investment. We need to make sure that we have the right concentration that it's stable, that the niacinamide is of a good quality. So we, we have a complex which contains 7% of niacinamide, of pure niacinamide, of superior quality, who is going to soothe, to have this anti-inflammatory reaction, to, to soothe the environment. And we associated it to other compounds because it's very important to maintain this very soothed uh, uh, environment so that the pigments are not overproduced uh, when there is a peak of inflammation. And that's why we have formulated it with amino sulfonic acid. So this one is called an acid, but it's not an HA, it's not aggressive. It doesn't have any chemical aggressive action on the skin. It will have it will help exfoliate the dead skin cells which are overloaded with melanin, but without any irritation. And that's when the couple of niacinamide and amino sulfonic acid is really bringing an innovation to break the vicious circle of dark spots with very efficient but gentle ingredients for the skin. And of course, it's, it's not only these two, two actors.
tube into the other, so. or you can um, give it back. <laughs> I know. I know. This is like it brings me back to my chemistry days. I won't lie. Like organic chemistry was a rough subject for me. For me too. And you know, if you don't get the uh, ingredients right, it was a rough read. You took organic chemistry. I did. And I stopped. But <laughs> now I now I have a skincare vlog, so I wish I could. <laughs> Um, the, the serums themselves have droppers in them. Okay. So I want you to take, I don't know, let's take three drops. Okay. From each vial, and you put, yeah, pick one and put it in one. You gotta know which is which. Okay. So wait, what do y'all have? So, oh, you already done it. Okay, do it. Okay, yeah. L'Oreal on the left. L'Oreal on the left. Okay, yeah, pick the one. And so, and then, and then put the other one in the other two. Three. 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 Yeah. One, two, three. Let's do three to yeah. start. Okay. It's my start. Three. Layers. The external layer is made of dead skin cells that tend to squat at the surface of the skin and which makes the skin dull. So we would like to exfoliate these first to get your natural radiance but also to be able to make the niacinamide penetrate faster. So here, this is a simulation of your skin. You see this jelly, okay? This is the external layer we want to get rid of and inside you see these dark spots that you can see. So I'm going to work with the aminosulfonic acid capacity on the skin. I'm going to apply my serum morning and evening. I'm going to massage it. And you see, this will help get this natural desquamation 
that we need to stimulate first. So this natural desquamation, wow. which will not irritate the skin. Okay. Then, because I'm going to use my protocol morning and evening, I'm going to add on more serum. I'm going to soothe the skin so that the production of excessive pigment is slowed down. So niacinamide has this anti-inflammatory capacity to calm down the environment so that the enzymes responsible of producing the pigments are less stimulated. We are not going to block the natural process of pigmentation. We are just going to slow down the inflammation and slow down the path rate at which the enzymes produce and transfer the melanin. <laughs> Okay, I am back home. Hair is still intact uh, from the event, but I'm back home and I had such a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time. And so I'm just gonna kind of decompress what went on today. So L'Oreal Paris, what an event. They invited me out, as I mentioned earlier uh, in the day today, they invited me out to do for this, their science innovation event. Really incredible, they had, um, two dermatologists and then their global director of skincare and like science was there as well. Um, and they were just really, really, really well informed. So while you're at the event, there's these different stations. So they were launching these products, talking about their products for nice, their niacinamide products, their vitamin C products, and as well their hyaluronic acid product of which they're launching a new kind of hyaluronic acid. It's really, really incredible stuff going on there. Um, 
a new kind of hyaluronic acid product for their line. And so really great. We were able to go to the different stations and learn about the different um, products and learn about the science behind the products. We also do some little experimenting as well, which is a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. Um, and kind of just like get our hands in there and like, I guess our minds also situated into the world of being a dermatologist and like a, uh, just being involved in skincare a little bit more uh, critically, as I would say. The event as well featured a panel with Suju Park. Suju Park, incredible, incredible individual, was so kind, um, very humble, was just kind of talking about her own personal experiences with skincare. Um, she mentioned that she had some um, some struggles with some dark spots on her face, which I definitely can relate to with dealing with hyperpigmentation. Um, but it was just so, so much, my, my apartment's so messy clothes on the bed but it was just so 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 much fun very informative um and yeah and i just i loved it and i hope i get to go to more of these with l'oreal and um enjoy the video okay so with the event i'm just kind of sitting down right now so i hope it's not too dark but i mean as you all know i love skincare you can go through my in my through my channel and you can see all the videos where i talk about my love for skincare um, so it was really great kind of getting back to the roots, you know, like learning about niacinamide, learning about vitamin C, learning about hyaluronic acid, like all over again, but just really hearing about it from the professional perspective. And then also kind of really understanding the process of what goes into the innovation. Like for each of these companies, like today was L'Oreal, but it was just really nice to kind of understand what are their thought process behind the different products that they make and release um and really for all of it i think it just comes down to ensuring that we all have like a healthy skincare routine number one and then number two ensuring that the products that we're using are improving over time and improving the other skincare steps we have and also probably trying to reduce the amount of skincare steps we have too um hopefully <laughs> Uh, but it was just really nice to learn about those different aspects, I would say. I also just want to say thank you so much, you guys, for watching today and for coming along on this fun journey with me, you know, starting off in the morning till now. I really, really want to thank you for watching this video and I hope you come back and I hope we get to stay in touch with each other a little bit more.